What's going on? I'm back, ready to make some more phone calls. So today, we are going to be calling a special list. It is a list of a bunch of zip codes that Jake and I have handpicked out of areas that we're very interested in. So you can do this. You can handpick you know, certain areas and say, hey, we really wanna call in this area. We're big fans of it. This area right here seems to be older homes and the ARVs are seeming to go higher on them. So things like that. So you can kind of handpick. We use batch skip tracing code Viking for a 15% discount. They have the best data that you can find. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hello? Yes? Yeah, he's Kent. Yes? Kent, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe you own a Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm here in Prescott. Uh, I was just calling to see if you'd ever consider an offer on that property there. For what? Oh yeah, I've got a, a partner and myself. We've been buying some properties in the area and we're looking at buying a few more. So I had just wanted to see if you'd ever consider selling yours. No. No, okay. Not a problem. You have any other properties, yeah. any other properties you maybe would consider selling? No. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time, Kent. That was a pretty hard no. I do not think Kent was interested. Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is Josh. Yes. Josh, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe you own. A the old ending up. But no, what I was gonna say though is that you should be getting, uh, if it is your first time through a list, you should be getting somewhere in the ballpark of about uh, 15 to 25, uh, realistically 20 to 25 um, contacts in an hour. Um, so that should be pretty normal, it's 20 to 25, 15 if it's like, you know, kind of a weird day or something. Um, but, and then second time through should be somewhere between 15 to 20. Third time through, 10 to 15, somewhere around there. You are calling. Yeah, I'm sorry, is this Sandra? Yes, it is. Yeah, Sandra, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was actually calling about a property I believe you own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to give you a quick call. It's not for sale. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, it is. It's not going to be for a long time. I we, hear you. Dead. I've um, gotcha. <laughs> no, no worries at all. We have too much stuff to move elsewhere, so we, we just, we're too old to move. <laughs> we're just going to stay here. No, no problem at all. Would you would you happen to have any other properties you maybe would consider selling? No, we don't. No, okay. All right, no, not a problem at all. Well, thanks so much for your time anyway. Okay, thank you. Uh, of course, have Bye. a good one. Let's see what kind of no's we can find today. So we have a lot of people ask why we don't leave voicemails. Um, so we don't leave voicemails because I personally believe that you have your best chance of getting someone when you talk to them live on the phone. Right, so um, if you're leaving voicemails, obviously it takes a lot more time as well. Um, but again, I just think that if you can actually get in front of them live, um, I think that that's just your best chances of closing your deals. Hi, this is Mr. Maloney. Yeah, Mr. Maloney, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe you own a... I'm sitting on the porch. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see if you'd ever consider an offer on that property there. Nah, we retired here in 2012. Oh, did you really? Okay. Good, bro. Hey, no worries at all. I yeah, really appreciate unless it. You give me, unless you want to give me a lot more than it's worth. <laughs> I hear you. I would love to do that. <laughs> Hey, not a problem. Have a great one. Uh, good luck. Okay, you too. Uh, Have a good one. So, you know, you still find yourself saying funny things. He said good luck. I said you too. Doesn't really make sense. Oh, well. Hey, you know, this is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. 
Uh, but I was calling about a property I believe you own. Okay. Yeah, I, I wanted to give you a quick phone call and I just wanted to see if you'd ever consider an offer on that property there. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. Okay. So not really too interested then, huh? Of course, thanks for your time. So I'm sure you guys get a lot of those. I get a lot of those, like like I said. You know, oh yeah, we'll take five hundred thousand, we'll take a million dollars. So again I just try to, you know, play it off like a joke. Like, yeah, haha, sounds good, you know, I'll see what I can do. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, tell me again who this is. Yeah, this is Luke. Um, I'm sorry, I, I was calling about a property I believe you own on... Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted to give you a quick phone call, and I wanted to see if you would ever consider selling that property there. Well, no, I, I don't think so, not at this time. No. But... Okay. Do you, do, you have any, do you have any other properties you maybe would consider selling? Oh, no. Not, mm. not a good time. Okay. All right, Judy. Well, not a problem. Well, thanks so much for your time anyway, Bye. then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye now. So that one I maybe could have, you know, take, try a little bit harder to try to push it, but... um. Me personally, when I'm having a really hard time hearing someone and they're having a hard time hearing me, um, I prefer to get off the phone. Uh, so, that's just my opinion. And in the comments, there's a right issues that you're having, you know, things that you're having a hard time with, and I will get to those and respond and let you know what I would do in that situation. Hello? Hello? Yeah, is this Robert? Excuse me? Yeah, I'm sorry, is this Robert? Yeah. Yeah, Robert, how you doing? This is Luke. Um, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe you... Yeah, we're getting a reverse mortgage on it. Oh, are you? Okay, okay, so you're not, you're not too interested in selling that, huh? No, we're getting a reverse mortgage on it. I got you. Okay. <laughs> well, no, not a problem at all. Better take us off. Take us off the call. Let's oh, I can. I can definitely do that for you. I appreciate your time. All right. Okay. Have a good one. Hello. Yeah. Hi, is this Tim? Yes. Hey, Tim. How you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry, the call here is a little out of the blue, uh, but I was calling about a property I believe you own. Yeah, you know, wanted to give you a quick phone call and I just wanted to see if you would ever consider an offer on that property there. Um, I'm actually uh, working at getting it ready to put on the market right now. Oh, are you? Okay. So you've, yeah. you've, uh, you've done quite a few upgrades to the property then? Yeah. Okay, I got you. All right, any idea what, uh, what you're going to be looking at getting for the property when it's all finished? Right, right, okay, okay. Um, all right, well, yeah, I mean, just so you know, you know, for uh, for kind of how we buy our properties, uh, we buy our properties cash, we pay closing costs, dock fees, and we don't charge any realtor fees. So, I mean, our offer would be just a, uh -huh. net, a net offer right in your pocket. Um, but, I mean, uh, if, is your property over there, is it give or take about 1,300 square feet? Does that sound about right? It's uh, 1,225 square foot. Okay, okay, I got you. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, what are, what would you kind of guess you'd be looking for? Like what are houses kind of selling for in that area? Um, right now houses in the area are going above 280 to 300 right now. Okay. So do you think that's probably fairly close to what you'd be looking to get? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, what I can do is I'll reach out uh, to my partner. Right, right oh. now, right now, Fresco Valley, uh, the real estate market. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. There's no doubt about that. 
Um, so yeah, let me, I'll speak with my partner and I'll see if I think I can make that work. And if I can, I'll definitely give you a call back and let you know. Okay, thanks. All right, not a problem. I appreciate it. Yep. Okay, have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye now. So that's way more than what we would be able to pay for the property. Um, but one thing you'll notice what I did there is that I asked him if he had number nine. He said no. Uh, he said he needs to take a look at some comps. Um, and then, so if you have a lot of people that are saying, no, you give me your number first. Um, what I like to do is I like to ask them a few more small questions about the property, you know, square footage, um, something like that. And then I will say, well, what are they selling for in your neighborhood? So as soon as they tell you what they're selling for in the neighborhood, that's, that's basically the number that they want. That's the number that they're going to give you is what they want. And you can literally follow it up with that same question, which I did. So I said, you know, um, he said, oh, they're selling for, you know, 280. So I said, so is that what you're going to be looking at getting for? And his answer was, yes, it is. So you can, you know, if they're kind of playing hard to get and they're not giving you the number, make sure that you ask that follow-up question. Say, well, what are they going for in your area, similar size? And they'll, they'll always give you a number. And then that's a very, very easy way to get out of them what they do want for the property. Again, if they say no, um, you know, I have no idea, then they probably truly don't know what they're going for in the area. And then they're actually going to be looking for a number from you. Um, most of the time they're going to say, oh, it's low. And, you know, they don't even have a number in mind. But it's still, it's at least a good way to gauge whether it's going to make sense or not. Because if their number's too high, and if it's way too high, there's no point in continuing talking to them. Um, or, you know, if, if, uh, if your number is going to end up being way too low for them, you know, and they're just going to tell you to get lost. So it's just a, a good way to save time. Three. Two. All right, so there is another week of calling down. Uh, so as you saw, you know, again, there's a lot more no's right there. So I'm hoping that I'm kind of being able to show you how to navigate through the no's, you know, how to get rid of the BS a lot quicker. Um, that's what I like to do anyway. I mean, if, if they're automatically just not interested immediately, I just like to just, you know, not a problem. Thanks for your time. Have a good day. Um, where it's like if there's a little, if there's a hint or if there's a little bit of uncertainty that they might have interest, then I'm obviously going to continue working with it and kind of see where it can go. Um, but again, this is, this is to be expected. This is what is very average. This is what is normal. Um, again, I would say the numbers to shoot for would be getting leads every 20 to 30, you know, contacts. So if you can get one or two, one or two decent leads in 20 to 30 contacts, that's kind of the numbers you want to be looking for. Um, it's not super realistic to be hoping for a contact out of 10 calls uh, or like, oh, I'm sorry, not a contact, a lead out of 10 calls or a, a really good lead out of 10 calls. It's just not going to happen. If that's what you're hoping for, this is probably not for you. As always, if you are already subscribed, we really appreciate it. And if you are not, be sure to subscribe and like right below. Um, again, if you have any issues or any questions about anything, um, you know, concerns with any of these call, these cold calling methods, drop them below and I will answer them and let you know what I would do, what is working for us. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you next week.